In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Pulse Roll Massage Gun. I'm going to start this video just by stressing that Pulse Roll themselves are not sponsoring this video, nor are they paying me to say anything that I'm saying within this video today. Pulse Roll very, very kindly sent me one of their products a number of weeks ago. So far, I've had about three weeks to play around with the massage gun, just so I can put a video out to you guys to give you my complete opinion on whether I think this product is worthwhile or not. If you're not familiar with this type of device, the massage gun is quite simply a recovery tool. If you've watched any of my other videos, you may remember a couple of times where I've stressed that recovery does not occur on its own. In order to recover optimally, in order to make sure that you're reducing the risk of injury and also performing at your best, you must be intentionally incorporating recovery tactics and strategies into your scheduled week. Now, there are many ways in which you can improve your recovery, and it's way beyond the scope of this video itself to go into those strategies. However, one of those is through the use of devices such as the Pulse Roll Massage Gun. This device is primarily designed to help with post-exercise recovery. Using something such as the massage gun itself, whether that be post-training, post-match, or even the night before a busy schedule, Using this will help you optimize, maximize your performance on court, whilst also mitigating some of the soreness and fatigue that you may have experienced from training over the previous couple of days. The main benefits of using this device, as supported by research, is that it helps reduce muscle soreness post-exercise, post-training, post-tournament and competition, and also increasing circulation to the muscle tissue. Now, for those of you who've been following this channel for a little while now will know that I myself, I'm a tennis outsider. I'm not a tennis player, I'm not a tennis coach. My primary sport personally is Olympic weightlifting. So I squat a hell of a lot throughout the week. Now, from personal experience of using this over the last couple of weeks, it has been incredible in helping me reduce muscle soreness from training. Now, given the amount of volume and frequency that I squat, I do have a tendency to experience some soreness, particularly around the patella tendon area, particularly if I don't quite get the volume and frequency just quite right for my body. If I squat too frequently with too high intensities, then typically I experience a lot of pain in that area that can last for days, if not weeks, if not managed appropriately. Now, within the last two and a half, three weeks of using this device, I have experienced exactly that, some pain in around the lower quadricep patella tendon area. And I can honestly say, and this is absolutely zero exaggeration, after spending a little bit of time of using this device at home, whilst relaxed in front of the TV, within minutes of using this device, that pain is almost gone. And I've not felt it the following day either. So this has proved incredibly useful, 
even in such a short space of time to help me reduce soreness ahead for the next session. Now in a similar kind of way, I am an advocate of foam rolling. I do get a lot of my tennis players and athletes to foam roll on a regular basis, if not daily, particularly of an evening after a hot bath. And again, the main reason for this is to help reduce muscle soreness and also to increase circulation to that localized area. I don't want to speak too negatively of foam rolling because it is an incredibly important tool and you can get a different stimulus. You can reach different body parts that you can't with devices like this with a foam roller. So I, I am still a very, very big fan of foam rolling. But one of the things that I find with foam rolling is that personally, it's it's still a little bit of a, a workout. Now, when you're lying on a foam roller on your elbows with one leg elevated, you're kind of holding what is effectively a plank position. You're still putting pressure stress fatigue on muscles like your abs or your arms by holding your body weight on on both arms or even one in some circumstances. So although it's incredibly good for reducing soreness and also good for improving circulation, foam rolling is still quite a lot of effort. I've found that some of my less committed of athletes have maybe refused to foam roll as much as what I'd like them to. And generally speaking, it's because of the effort that's required to do it for the required amount of time. The good thing with this device, however, is that you don't need to do anything other than hold it in place. You don't need to support your body weight. You don't need to get in a plank or a press up position. You don't need to, you just don't need to apply any effort at all. I've used this whilst my partner Gemma has been watching TV and it is completely silent. Of course, it emits a, a small amount of noise, but to sit next to somebody whilst they are watching a TV program or film and not disturb them is, is pretty cool, really. It means that there's just no barriers. There's no psychological barriers to me doing this. It's very, very convenient. It, it's really, really relieving in a way. It's kind of a strange kind of relieving pain sensation that feels pretty good whilst you do it. But the main thing for me is that it's just more likely to be sustainable. I'm likely to do this every night, every other night without any hesitation, quite simply because it doesn't require any effort. I can sit on the sofa and not disturb anybody whilst I'm doing it. And that for me is a big point. Now, Neil Skupski, who I also work with, was also lucky enough to be sent one of these by Pulse Roll. Don't just take my word for it. Neil's feedback to me since using his for the last four or five weeks has been incredible. He said he feels completely fresh afterwards. Muscle soreness that he's experienced from similar sessions the previous week haven't been experienced following five to 10 minutes of use, particularly around the area of his quads when we've been doing dynamic explosive work on the tennis court for change of direction, agility, speed-based movements. He's not been feeling anywhere near a sore, been feeling much more fresh the following day, quite simply through implementing the pulse roll massage gun into his recovery strategy. Now there are tons of massage guns on the market. You only need to put it into Google search and you'll realize that you are inundated with options. There are also advertisements at the moment going around Facebook, advertising lots of budget options. So I think it's only fair that I give you guys a comparison to a couple of other reputable brands which are within a similar market or a similar standard to this one. So upon unboxing this device a couple of weeks ago, first of all, my, my first impressions were incredible. I was amazed actually by the quality that Pulse Roll themselves have put into the product, not only in the actual device itself, but the case that it comes in, the box that it comes in, and all of the leaflets and instructions and, and effectively instruction videos that you can also access online and via QR codes, etc. Just the thought that's gone into it and the quality is incredibly, incredibly good. I mean, the, the, the bag itself, which is included within the price, is absolutely ideal. It holds all of the attachments and cables and the actual device itself that's required. If you're traveling, then it's incredibly easy to just slip inside your suitcase. In addition to that, it's got a carry handle, so you can just either throw it into your tennis bag or gym bag or carry it in, in itself. It's really good. I just keep this in the back of my car, typically, unless I'm keeping it at home to do some recovery at night. But the fact that everything is kept in this really good, high quality case that just, it genuinely does not look like it will damage easy at all. It's black, it's got, it's just really, really high build quality. The zip looks solid and strong. This looks like something that's gonna last a long time and can take a bit of a beating. So over the last few years, I've been very aware through speaking with other athletes, athletes that I work with, but also a couple of companies with that we've been in partnership with in the past of a couple of other similar standard massage guns. And I'm gonna use two products that are currently available in order to just give you guys a bit of a comparison 
as to why I think this is the one for you. The Theragun Elite and also the Hypervolt. So with the Pulse Roll Massage Gun, you get six attachments, but with the Theragun Elite and also the Hypervolt, you only get five. I think this is great because the more options you have, particularly for different muscle groups and also various intensities, very handy to have as many attachments as possible. And again, all of these come as standard within the price that I will discuss in a moment. The weight of the Pulse Roll Massage Gun is one kilo or 2.2 pounds. The reason why I'm mentioning weight, which I know a lot of products, you, you wouldn't necessarily be concerned or bothered about the weight, but this is something that you're gonna to wanna to take on tour with you. You're gonna to wanna to take this to tournaments. If you're gonna be traveling overseas in particular, then weight limit and weight restrictions via the airlines that you're using are certainly something that you have to consider. The Pulse Roll Massage Gun comes in at one kilo or 2.2 pounds. This is the same as the Theragun Elite, whereas the Hypervolt comes in just a little bit heavier at 2.5 pounds. There are four speed adjustment settings on the Pulse Roll Massage Gun, and you adjust those quite simply by pressing this button on the top somewhere between one and four times. Pressing it a fifth time will turn it off. Again, this is an absolutely awesome option because depending on how sore you are or how tender the area is that you're massaging at that time, you can adjust the intensity either by changing the heads, the attachments, or by changing the speed or the number of percussions per minute. In comparison, the Theragun Elite has five adjustment speeds, whereas the Hypervolt only has three. Battery life itself on the Pulse Roll Massage Gun comes in at a really impressive three hours. Now, battery life itself isn't necessarily something that I would say is a genuine appealing factor for a device such as this. We're not necessarily going to be using this for three hours straight. So for most people, after using it for maybe 30 minutes to 60 minutes a night, you're pretty much always going to have access to a wall outlet to charge the device. But then that being said, if you're going to be taking this to torn venues with you where you can't get access, to a wall outlet, then it's pretty handy. I mean, of course, the more battery life, the better. I've used this quite regularly for, again, as I've said, about two and a half to three weeks now, and I've only charged it once in that period. Again, in comparison, the Theragun Elite has a two hour battery life, whereas the Hypervolt also has a three hour battery life. So again, based on the, the, the quality alone, the actual thought, the R&D, the design that's gone into this product, it is certainly not a budget device. It feels solid. It's certainly passed the child test. My, my lad who's two years old has been throwing it about and dribbling all over it in and amongst, you know, treating it as a game. And there's not a single mark on it at all. It's really, really well built and you can just tell it's incredibly good quality. This is an investment. It is not a cheap product. It is not something that you just throw it into your gym or tennis bag and forget about. This is designed to be used on a regular basis. And this is something that to me feels like will last a very long time because of its good build quality. Here in the UK, this product currently retails at $224.99. That's $277. Now, this is one of its biggest selling points. In comparison to the other two devices which I've mentioned, which have pretty similar specifications, if not identical in some circumstances, it is a much, much cheaper product. So it's quite clearly going to be more appealing to everybody. And that's one of its biggest selling points. For the money, you just can't beat the quality whatsoever. This is rivaling a product that is almost twice the price elsewhere. Theragun Elite is currently retailing at £321, equivalent to $399. The Hypervolt product is retailing at the same price as the Theragun, but you have to pay an additional $49 for the case. Whereas with the Pulse Roll Massage Gun, it already comes with one included in the price. As said, I've been using this now for a number of weeks and I am incredibly impressed. What I do tend to do is mix and match the attachment heads and I go through using the different intensity, starting at speed level one, spending around a minute or two minutes on the local area, the isolated area that I'm wanting to massage. And then I gradually, minute by minute, increase the intensity to the highest speed. I will tend to spend around about five minutes on the muscle groups that I'm wanting to massage. And as said, I've seen massive improvements in muscle soreness. My main focus has been on the patella tendon, the lower quadricep area due to the amount of squats that I do in my type of training. But because of the long handle and the ability to hold it in other locations too, 
you can target anywhere around your body. There is a device to massage either side of your spine. It's quite easy to get around onto your upper back or onto your lower back because of the long handle. It's really, really simple. You don't need a partner, which is something that sports massage does require. You can do all of this yourself. It's super convenient, super easy to use. And again, the benefits and the effects that this has on reducing muscle soreness in particular is fantastic. Because of its ease of use and convenience, this is something that I recommend to my athletes using every single day. It can be used first thing in the morning prior to any form of practice or warm up session. And it can also be used, which in my opinion is the best place for it to be used after a hot bath in the evening, ready to help recover and prepare for the following day. If you'd like to get your hands on one, then I will put a link in the description below. If you've used any products similar to this, I would be very interested to hear your feedback and reviews. Please do comment in the description below. As always, I really appreciate you taking the time out to watch this video and visiting the channel. If you've liked this video, then please do smash the like button below. If you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, and you'd like to see more videos just like this, as well as a number of training tips, ideas, instructions and vlogs, then please do hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon next to that in order to be notified of our next release.